Hello everybody and welcome to our Fleur's springtime collection. Now, in this video, we are doing using a flower of one of the flowers and creating something different. And it just so happens that it's also a springtime flower. So we're going to be making the crocus. Now again, couldn't be any easier. If you blink, you will miss it. So to start off with, I am using um, one of our green uh, paper wrapped wires and I've cut it to about 10 centimetres just to get us going and started on something. I've got two of the stamen, probably only need one but you know I, I quite like to fill the flower and then I'm working with the bluebell. Now on this occasion we're going to be working with the bluebell petal but we're going to work with it inverted so opposite way to what we did with the bluebell but we're also going to be adding a little bit of shape. Now you also have the option of trimming a little bit of shape into these petals and we're also going to cup them slightly because the 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 blue the crocus is quite it's quite a shape to petal like this it comes out quite a lot so we've got six of those okay so we've got our wire so first of all i'm going to add a little bit of glue onto the stamen like so because we're using a paper wrapped wire, so this is really easy. I'm just going to spread that out a little bit and attach that onto the wire. So it's paper on paper, and then literally roll that onto itself like so. So that's the beginning of the flower, really easy. Now on all of these, you can actually start inking and adding colour. Now some of the favourite inks that I like to use are the Versifying Claire. You can use your Tim Holtz, obviously, all of your oxides, etc. Or you could just go ahead and start using your alcohol pens as well with this, just to add in some, a little bit of extra colour onto the stamen, onto the edge. Now the petals, we have six. And again, on this you can add some detailing. Now I'm just going to find myself a black pen. That will do. Because when you look at a crocus, the crocus actually has got veins. It's got quite a lot of veins and a lot of detail in the petals. So that's where the, the lovely crepe paper comes into its own by giving us all that vein already. So the petal itself, we're going to work with it this way. For the bluebell, that's the tip of the bluebell and it curls out. So that's the bluebell point. For this one, we want this to be the top. Now, if you want and to create a more rounded crocus, you can actually just take off the tip of that if you wanted to, okay? Across, across them all, just, just take off or square off that little bit of that tip. Okay, and I know we've cut, cut it out with a die, but just, just taking that point off and blunting the petal a little tiny bit. And then, we take a pen, and we're gonna add a little bit of vein in. Now, oh, lines in here. Now, I'm not really, I'm just literally not adding much. I'm just lightly touching and moving along okay so it's the it's almost like when you're dry brushing you just for want of a better word tickle the pen along and I'm not pressing on I'm just literally allowing it where it touches it's fine if it doesn't and it leaves gaps I'm happy with that as well okay so again and you can use different colored pens for this one I'm just using normal black fine liner same again just in a few you're just using the shape of the petal and working with the shape of the petal okay and it's really quick i'm not no rhyme or reason the more random the better it actually looks okay like that and you could also do this with a white gel pen or if you've got a really fine, really fine, almost maybe two or three hairs on a paintbrush, you could do this because of how small the petals are with the um, 
bleach technique and just gently just touch in a few places and let the bleach seep out to then take the colour out of the petal would also work very well. So now what we're going to do is we're going to curl the petal. This is the outside and we're going to cup and we're not going to go just add a little bit of shape like so. Okay. So you can do um, the lines of on inside and outside, but we've got the lines on the outside on this instance. And the chunkiest part of where the petal is, that's where we're actually doing a little stretch and cupping the petal. Oops. Okay, so this is the top of our petal, like so. And then we're going to pop these on and around the stamen in groups of three again, in triangles of three. It seems to be a common feature with all these spring-like florals. Okay, so I've now cupped all of them and I've got some glue out. I'm gonna put some fresh glue out because once you start building with this, as always, it's easier to pick the glue up off of your mat to then work with it. Whoops. So I'm gonna work in a triangle. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit of glue and pop it on there like so. Strain it up a little bit, little squeeze. Then more glue, pop that on. And I'm working to the base of the Just pull that up a little bit of the stamen and then I just squeeze. I'm kind of enveloping the stamen and already you can see the, the crocus come into life. So the third one, I can stop it rolling, pop that there at the base and then just fold that around like so. So I'm just going to go all the way around and squeeze. Oops, those petals are sticking to me and not to where I need them to be. Just need to move that one up a little bit. In fact, let's use my tweezers and keep my fingers. There we go. That's a little bit better. And then where we've got the three, we're now going to glue the second three. Okay, a little bit of glue in that overlap, just tap that in place. So again, rotate it round. Tap that in place. And the third one is here. So again, just rotate that round a little bit. Pop that one on there. Psst and tap that in place. Then when all of this is dry, just want to give it a second or so to take. I'm gonna be a little bit gentle with it all. I would then go in with my tweezers and just gently open those out a little bit. But that is your fabulous little crocus. And then I would absolutely use the uh, foliage tape, the um, floristry tape, add a little bit of tape and tape down the stem as well. Okay, so that is the beautiful little crocus and aren't they delicate? They are so delicate when you use the crepe paper, they are just fabulous. So there's our little crocus. Thank you very much again for stopping by and following on and watching our lovely education. I'd like to see all your makes that you do and we'll see you all again soon. You take care. Bye. If you want to see more from Highlight Crafts, make sure you click the like button. Subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below and click the bell icon to receive notifications of all of our future content. You can also click here to see our latest video or click here to see more videos like this one.